Hello World Doll Day friends, this is Michael Canales with the Grovian Doll Museum and Carmel Doll Shop. We are back at the Newness Collection and right now we are in a room that is called the Gallery. This is a special space that Susan and Lou designed and added on to their, their home. Uh, the dolls I want to show you right now are kind of, right now they're having a, a, a quite the renaissance. Um, they haven't had the renaissance that they have now since uh, Queen Victoria's Jubilee year. Um, they're a specific type of doll that I have always loved. And um, Princess Victoria, who was actually quite a poor little princess and wasn't really expected to ever be queen, she had a very large collection. So what the takeaway from that is, those dolls in their time were perhaps the cheapest dolls available. That is not the case today. They have found a, a completely new audience, which is both doll collectors and doll house collectors are both very interested in them. And people that collect Victoriana are interested in them. So Susan and Lou have quite a few, but I wanted to show you this, this, if I can get this open, this little tableau that are set up in this beautiful, large, this is a large room box. So it is literally loaded with little Grodner Tals. But I want to show you, and there, some of them are very spectacular, but I want to point out a couple that I think are my favorite. And one is this little tiny in the, uh, the little chair. And the other is this lady here, which you can see she has all of the little chip mark carving. This one here, right there. We, do you want, here, I'm going to move her out of the way. I've got to help the cameraman, which is David Robinson. And I have permission to touch these. So this is the one that I wanted you to see because it has the really excellent chipping in the hairstyle, which they would most, most of these don't have that. So this tells me that this is fairly, fairly early in the making. Now, these are just my favorites of the group, but there are lots. And it's not just um, the little woodens that are here. Now, these go by a lot of different names. They're called Penny Woodens, Tuck Combs, um, Grodner Talls, Grods, you name it. They've got lots of continental woodens. It all fits. So um, Susan has put together a lot of her tableaus herself, but this one she purchased with all of these things um, already in it, which was a really kind of a lucky day. Um, it's various era, eras from fairly early to late. And when I say that, I mean from 1820s to the 1890s, which a dollhouse that was played with by children would have things like that. And here we have a, a little frozen Charlotte in a baby bed with all of the beautiful um, beadwork, which was very popular. That was parlor art. And of course, a beadwork rug. And this, I think, for people that collect miniatures, this, this uh, center table is pretty spectacular. And then we have the Earnhardt and Sohn uh, prayer books, or they could be photo albums, fantastic inkwell, and uh, Biedermeyer furniture or, or Boole if you, if you want to be really technical. But I think that some of the things that I just think are out of this world are the Paris porcelain figurines. And there's one great one. Now, if you like small dolls, um, right now there's the, the phenomenon of the, the, the wooden, little woodens and the prices that they're bringing. But you know what? There's a whole group of the paper mache's that are not getting the attention 
that they should. And here is a, just a, a wonderful um, paper mache with the little spaniel, we call it the spaniel ears um, uh, hairstyle. Now in the 19th century, we have had um, room boxes where people have put two room boxes on top of each other and created their own upstairs, downstairs world. So now we should go into, we've got the main parlor and then here we have, I'm going to assume that the ladies have taken over the man's smoking room because if you notice on the table, there's a whole bunch of, of clay pipes and ivory pipes. So I would assume that this is for the men, but the ladies are in it. And again, some a, a mix of, we've got two of the little peg woodens and then we have three, and then we have a couple of paper machés, and then a few of the parians. And then there, here's where I can see that the various um, eras are mixed. When we get to the light fixture, which of course by 1890s, electricity was brought in to most of Europe and America, and so we have the, the dazzling, uh, emerald light fixture. And again, outstanding porcelain figures. And this, this, this family had a thing for dictators because I noticed we have Napoleon Bonaparte's figure group. And just for a little um, fun, here is a, a doctor's bag that says New York. But again, wonderful um, furniture, a, a rare gaming table. Again, it's a men's room. And I think, have a look at the beautiful um, sofa. And I would be remiss if I didn't point out the, 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 the prints on the walls. Did you get those, David? Okay, all right. So I'm gonna let David uh, get in there and let you have some views. And then you're going to come back and show them the whole piece because it's pretty spectacular. I don't know what you're saying. Curtain. Oh, the curtains. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, I, I am being cued off set that I should point out the curtains, which are, are lovely, and they have the original um, valance, armalu valance, which is really, uh, valance boxes, which is really spectacular. And I do believe that this is the, uh, if not the original papers, some nice good early papers. So you know what, the thing about this is, these room boxes are available, they're out there, they could be collected up, and anyone could put together a, a wonderful study group. It takes time, of course, and perseverance to find all these wonderful things. Now, the thing about the upstairs, downstairs, the reality is the little woodens, they're actually really downstairs dolls. But somehow, I think with a princess who became a queen, who loved dolls, she elevated them into upstairs dolls. So friends, we will be back later for more content. Bye-bye. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button.